What's bracken guys? Welcome to episode one of my football manager playthrough with Mansfield Town. Basically, I mean, why did I choose Mansfield Town? I did use them in FIFA 15 for like Road to Glory se series. I basically did on my own on my free time, and so we'll just get right into the squad. Basically, um, going to the first match is actually this day that I'm showing it. So we'll be getting right into the first match. I'll actually do a live playthrough of that. Then you guys can decide what you if you would rather see. Uh, you know a monthly roundup or just you know play every game live so you can have reactions and everything so first player our goalkeeper we have Pidgeley also but I'm going with Studer first because Pidgeley was injured for the majority of the preseason so I uh, just wanted to give him a go not the greatest as you can see uh, his scouting reports not very organized defensively needs to improve his throwing uh, apparently would be a good Vanarama uh, conference player, but uh, good handling at least, uh, so we'll see how he can fare for us again. Oops. Um, so taking a look at his stats again. Uh, kicking, handling, reflexes, command area are his best stats, so hopefully you know those can show well, but he's not the greatest, so we may need to upgrade eventually. We'll see. Right back, uh, we have basically f limited fullbacks, because we just do not have any good uh, fullbacks right now. I'm trying to convert one guy into a fullback to eventually play. You can see it just has decent marking, tackling, heading, so you'd be decent uh, to kind of hold down the side uh, defensively, but he's not the doesn't have the best pace, as you can see. Uh, he actually is more familiar as a center back. Um, as you can see, it's his natural position, but uh, fairly slow, slow off the mark. Needs to improve his marking ability, but he has some advantages to him. Seems to have a good character to him who could be a quality uh, player on our side. And Tafazoli, nice little center back, pretty tall as you can see, six foot five. So decent heading, marking, tackling. Uh, his strength is pretty nice, jumping reach, but uh, de definitely needs to improve a little bit technically, I'd say, and mentally. Um, and again, you can look at his reports. Good potential be a good uh, League One defender, so that's not bad. Leading player for most League Two sides. Fans really like the player. Good in the air, but he's fairly selfish, one-footed. Uh, does not like to go into rough challenges, and needs to improve his quickness. Then, of course, next one is Martin Riley. Decent heading, marking, can actually pass fairly well, which uh, he could also play in defensive mid. So I may have to play him there eventually because we have we're pretty weak in the midfield, but he does have good leadership. Uh, positioning, teamwork, work rate. So pretty nice. His pace is decent actually as well. And uh, good acceleration agility. So he should be a good center back. More of a cover guy. And you can see he has a good attitude. Likes big matches. Good in the air. Selfish again. Does not like to get into rough challenges. So that could be an issue. But Lee Beavers here is our left back. Um, he can basically play all over the pitch it looks like. But uh, he's a veteran 30 year old player. Uh, six foot one, not the fastest as you can see, but he has decent marking, heading, tackling, work rate, positioning, termination. So he has some good stats that you know could work out fairly well at this level. And he's not going to improve, of course. He's very slow and he's slow off the mark. But of course, uh, you can see he has some great mental stats that can help us out. Then I do not have many options in the midfield right now, especially defensive midfield. But uh, we're gonna have to go with this guy Dempster, old pl older player, uh, decent marking. Just gonna ask him to win the ball in the midfield. So I may have to you know move Riley into the spot eventually uh, because he is a little bit better as a D mid. But I've been training Dempster to be one, so we'll see how he works out. But he has a decent personality, but uh, he's pretty slow a little bit. It looks like he could have a problem with red cards. As you can see, he has a competitive streak. Uh, he's not the best, as you can see. Good player for most Vanderham Conference sides, but he's going to have to work, to be honest. Then we have a guy I'm really excited for, Jack Thomas, this youngster right here. Um, he's really nice overall. He's going to be playing as a box to box. He has good finishing shots, passing. If that improves a little bit, uh, he'll be great, along with his mental stats and some of his physical stats. Aren't the greatest, but definitely think he can be solid. He's listed for loan, but I'm going to have to take him off loan eventually. Then Ricky Ravenhill is kind of the ball winning def midfielder. Very good tackling, marking. Uh, you can see those mental stats are very nice. Very strong, has good stamina, good natural fitness, so he'll be nice in the middle. He's an older player, of course. Definitely need to improve in midfield, to be honest. He's not the smartest player. Uh, he's not the greatest passer either. Uh, he's having trouble fitting into the squad, which could be a problem. Hopefully not. But uh, then we have an advanced play playmaker here, uh, Chris Clements. Corners 
are nice. So he has a little bit of technical ability too. You can see free kicks, long shots, passing, technique 11, not bad. Uh, he's improving as a leadership. Mental stats are decent and physical stats. He has good fitness, so we could probably play him as a central midfielder as well. Uh, guy I really like for his physical stats. Uh, pay, decent pace here is Rakesh Bingham. Youngster could improve, but you can see technically and mentally he needs he has a lot of work to do. So definitely uh, going to have to improve his finishing, uh, composure, all that. But we're going to look for him to use his pace uh, against these squads. Vidane Oliver on loan for us. He just picked he picked up a knock and has heals, so he probably is not going to play much in the first match. At least not a full go, but uh, decent heading, finishing, first touch. Nice mental and physical stats for a target man. As you can see, uh, can only play in limited skill, but uh, decent personality, which could fit in. Also, take a look at Bingham's personality. Uh, as I think he has fairly fairly selfish, doesn't like to get into rough challenges, but he definitely does need to improve his po his composure. As he's very quick, and he has a little bit of ability to play out, you know, kind of as a inside forward on the right. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Just going through that, my starting squad quickly. I'll go through some of the guys I expect to play quite a bit. Richie Sutton can play in center and right back, and you can see a decent marking heading, but he was not he's not really fit right now, so he's not going to be starting right away, but I uh, definitely think he'd be a solid player for us, and you can see, I'm just going to take a look at some of the midfielders, pretty terrible, uh, which is why I'm going to be looking to bring in some guys on loan, some marking, passing, work rates, he's okay in all those aspects, but he's just not good enough technically in my opinion, then uh, Reggie Lamb, I'm training this guy to play right back, uh, because he just has some decent crossing, pace uh, definitely can add us more of a dimension out wide to actually you know have some technical ability out wide to send in some good crosses because we are very lacking in that aspect right now and then another guy who I think is going to uh, figure in well is uh, Ross Jenkins we signed him decent passing first touch but we did bring him in on a, a trial and he did not play much we brought him in pretty late but he has good passing first touch I think he'll figure into the squad but uh, doesn't have much natural fitness which could hurt but uh, he has a little bit of technical ability to him um, let's see some other guys Marston can end up being a solid player uh, Liam Hearn is a guy that I hope he gets fit soon uh, because he does have great finishing and composure for this level which could be a great help to us and of course again just to show another midfielder here McGuire does not have much to him decent mentally but uh, we definitely need to improve which as you can see coming up now is why we're going after some players here uh, some guys I'm looking after to bring in basically don't have to pay any wages if I'm able to get these guys on in on loan uh, this guy looks very promising from Burnley looks like he's uh, an Australian New Zealand player excuse me <laughs> and decent dribbling finishing it looks like corners at least potentially work rate stamina so it could be a very good attacking midfielder for us see how he uh, if he's going to come in hopefully he does and then Callum Jones from West Brom. Looks like he he has good crossing for what is supposedly a defensive motor heading. Looks like he could be a decent anchor and his passing could be decent as well. And Oliver Kemen here. Decent heading, uh, p teamwork, everything. So really hope we can bring him on loan. Looks like he has some good potential for a youngster. He does have a broken shoulder, which he's recovering in from, but tackling could be nice because we do need an upgrade at defensive midfielder. So we'll see if he will come in, hopefully, because uh, definitely need that help in the midfield. So that will round out the first episode of this series. And basically, I just wanted to get the squad report bit out of the way. I uh, kind of wanted to break up the videos also, because if I would have done that along with the first commentary, it would have been quite a long video. But basically, in like 12 hours or so, I'll be posting episode 2, which will have the first matchup of the series. And after that, I'll have you guys decide whether you would rather me do, you know, um, basically a roundup after each month or so, maybe every few weeks something like that or if you would want me to do everything live calm i think all live calm would be pretty interesting and this would be probably the main series on my channel if i was going to do that because i am really enjoying this game now and so of course really hope you enjoy you guys enjoyed this first episode um, and with that i'll catch you guys later